What's going on guys? This is Chris from Chris Albert Fitness. I'm here to answer your questions. Um, every week I ask people, ask me questions about fitness, bodybuilding, muscle building, strength building over Instagram and to which I either reply on here or on my Instagram account. Cool concept. Anyways, I had a gentleman ask me today if uh, training to muscular failure was necessary in order to build muscle. Should you train to muscular failure in most workouts if you want to build muscle? My answer to this is going to be a simple no. You do not have to train to muscular failure in order to build muscle. Um, but I'm going to give you some background information and I'm going to tell you why. The first reason is this. Um, the biggest factor in building muscle is muscle fiber recruitment. Now, what does that mean? That means that you are trying to recruit as many muscle fibers as possible. So when we're thinking about muscle fiber recruitment, one, we want to make sure that we're actually recruiting the muscle fibers. If you are training to failure at a certain point, your technique is going to break down. And at that point, you're no longer going to be recruiting the muscle fibers that you want to recruit. You are instead going to be compensating and using other groups of muscles in order to get that weight up because your technique is broken down. So at that point, you are no longer really helping the muscle group that you are training. So my recommendation there is one, to train to the point where your technique Train to the point before your technique starts to break down. Don't train after your techniques, um, or don't keep doing repetitions after your technique starts to break down because that will be counterproductive and possibly harmful because you could sustain an injury. Two, we really want to consider the toll taken on our central nervous systems. Now, this is why I never recommend training to failure with a compound movement. Now, that being said, I'm somebody who has done 20 repetition sets, 315 on my back uh, in squats, and uh, I can tell you that I was not at muscular failure when I did that because what was actually breaking down were my lungs. Um, but you don't want to do, say, squats, deadlifts, bench presses, or overhead presses to the point where you are at muscular failure. Again, one, that's because your technique is starting to break down and the chance of injury from those three types of exercises uh, when your form is not good is a lot higher than say on an assistance or isolation exercise. Two, um, it takes a massive toll on your central nervous system. So when you train to absolute failure on a set of squats uh, and you're using a significant amount of weight, then your central nervous system gets hit. That means that you are not potentiating yourself to a point of optimal performance for a long period of time after that because your brain is having problems coordinating nerve impulses and this can really take a toll on your other workouts and really inhibit your ability to build muscle in other areas or even in the area that you were training from the beginning. So in order to keep your, your nerve synapses fresh uh, and in order to keep yourself from getting injured, I do not ever recommend training compound movements to failure. Where you could train to failure every now and then is with your assistance exercises. So let's say you are on a um, set of side lateral raises or on a set of preacher curls or maybe rear deltoid flies or leg extensions. On these exercises, there's a lot less risk of injury. And on top of that, doing added repetitions can actually help you to recruit more muscle fiber. What I would say is that you don't necessarily want to do this in absolutely every workout, um, especially if you know that your nutrition is not sound or that you're not getting enough sleep because then that again can take a toll on those muscle fibers for the next workout and make you suffer for the rest of your workout uh, as far as um, trying to recruit more muscle fiber and trying to get that muscle to grow to its absolute capacity. Um, above everything, guys, you need to be smart. 
And um, my philosophy with training is this, you really need to, training is always, its first priority is always to keep you from getting injured. Um, so if you're a performance athlete, the reason why you train is to keep yourself from getting injured. And if you get injured during a workout, you've completely missed the whole point of training in the first place. If you're a bodybuilder, you really, your focus is just on muscle fiber recruitment. Um, and there are a lot of ways to recruit muscle fiber without putting yourself at risk of injury or risking your health. So I hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, you hit me up at gettingshredded at gmail.com. Um, if you're looking for more great content uh, or some of my training programs, you can check out chrisalbertfitness.com. And as always, train hard. Have a great Love you all. Peace.